Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I thought not, because he's not in the game, but I tell you what, a whole lot of other Sith are. And hey, hey, today we're going to be having a little bit of fun. We're going to be ranking all of the Sith characters in LEGO Souls of Skywalker Saga from worst to best. And oh boy, I've been looking forward to this. We're going from the infamous Darth Maul to Count Dooku to the legend himself, Darth Vader, Snoke, Ben Swallow, and how can you forget the Senate? I am the Senate. Uh -huh. Yeah, you sure are the Senate. Anyway, let's cue the music. So then, hello, hello, hello there, guys. I'm Rugged Eagle, and I do tons of LEGO Stars of Skywalker Saga content on my channel. So if you do like what you see, please feel free to subscribe and go to drop a like. Mm -mm. I do highly recommend. You will subscribe. You see, I'm practicing my Jedi mind tricks. Anyway, let's get into the ranking. All right then, so to put it simply, I'm going to be ranking these characters and how fun they are to use their unique abilities and how they differentiate themselves from each other, their fighting styles, the raw strength of the character, the character model, and I'll also take and count the amazing voice lines. And I will not be ranking the costumes as an individual character. I'll be ranking them as the character. You get me? And just remember, just because they're in last place doesn't not make them terrible because the entire Sith class in this game is next level. Anyway, let's jump into it. Alright then, so coming in at our number 9 spot is Sith-Eyed Anakin alongside I Don't Have the High Ground variation when he got cut in half by Obi-Wan. Alright, so let me tell you, I am so glad this character's in the game because it wouldn't make any sense to have the Battle of Mustafar fighting regular Anakin without his sith art. And if you're sat there wondering what are his special abilities exactly, he doesn't have anything majorly different compared to the Jedi version of Anakin Skywalker. The only thing I've noticed is a few voice line tweaks here and there. Then we have the nice barbecue version of Anakin Skywalker too, and it would have been even better if he could split himself into two like C-3PO. Oh, that would have topped it. Just imagine walking around screaming at everyone, I hate you! That, that would have been, that would have been top tier. That's why this character comes in at last place because it's nothing majorly unique, it's just really nice to have it and I'm proper chuffed with it. And from here out, all of the villain characters get ridiculously good, they're all amazing in their own way and sith Eyed Anakin is still fantastic, it's just the rest of the sith are next level. So, swooping its way into number 8 is Kylo Ren, yes I know I'm a, I'm, I'm a traitor. Traitor! Now, Kylo Ren were one of the first Sith characters that I unlocked in the game because you do get him through the story without having to purchase him after you complete the level. And I do think he has some really fun voice lines, such as if you spawn in Darth Vader, he just starts fanboying over him. It's great, I'll let you have a listen. It's you. Okay, come on, Ben. Keep it together. You've dreamed of this moment. Can I help you, boy? And if you're looking for a Sith character with lots and lots of outfits, Kylo Ren has you covered. He's got tons of them, alongside Ben Swallow. Now, I ain't saying that ain't amazing. Man, I'm so glad the developers added this character into it, game. And that ain't it for Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren does have his own standalone fighting style, and it's very reminiscent of how he acts in the film where he just goes on a rage killing spree. Well, Kylo Ren's fighting style matches this perfectly, and he's quite a fast, swift character to use in the game. Now, the reason Kylo Ren is quite low on this list is because he's one of the first Sith characters that you unlock, and his abilities aren't that great because his force freeze works now and again. It's not very consistent, but when it works, it is really nice, but it just doesn't work as often as I would like it to. Now, Kylo Ren's slam attacks are nothing major in this game. They're very basic, but they are still very, very powerful. Wait till we get further on in the list and then we get some wicked slam attacks. And very similar to sith Eyed Anakin, Ben Solo actually has the exact same moveset as Kylo Ren but on the light side, so there's a fun fact for you. And actually thinking about that, that Knights of Ren boss battle in Rise of Skywalker, oh that was some next level stuff. So coming in at number 7, now brace yourself, it's Darth Vader. Now hold your horses, hold your horses. Now obviously because it's Darth Vader, he should just be at the top of the list anyway because he's the legend himself, Lord Vader. But I'm just going off how fun the characters are to use and their unique abilities and just what I think is the best Sith. And Darth Vader for me, he is a bit of a slow character to use because that is Vader's style. He's nowhere near as fast paced as Count Dooku or Kylo Ren. But that does not make Vader bad at all because Vader has some of the best voice lines in the game and when you're playing as Vader, you just feel like an absolute god among men. 
And I do really like how they kept it accurate to the characters. Vader has a lot slower fighting style than other characters, but he does pack a little bit more of a punch within his lightsaber swings. And it was really fun to play through Return of the Jedi, being Darth Vader in the final boss fight against Emperor Palpatine. That was a really good moment, and you do get Darth Vader through playing the story, which is really nice. So yeah, why is he this low on the list? Well, Vader is very accurate to how he is betrayed in the original trilogy. He's got that slow fighting style which is very accurate to the character and he's got some fantastic voice lines. But the characters above just get even better with their special abilities and how unique they are. So let's move on to number 6. So yeah, this is where the fun begins. Coming in at number 6 is Sheev Palpatine and all his other Chancellor and Senator outfits. Now, 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 there's only one thing that's disappointing about this character. He doesn't have his spin attack. I thought when he jumped up in the air and you click attack, he would have done his spin attack, but he doesn't, which is a little bit disappointing, but the character is still very solid. And you know what makes him even more solid? When he spawns in, he goes, have you heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I'll let you have a listen. You ever hear of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Now, the amount of times I'm going to hear this tragedy through playing the game is going to be unreal. You ever hear of tragedy? Tragedy. You ever hear of tragedy? Tragedy. Tragedy. You ever hear of tragedy? So, the character of Sheev Palpatine is completely different to the character of Palpatine in the game with his fighting style. Yes, he does have his golden lightsaber if you use the Senator outfit. And I mean, you can make your dream come true. You can keep running around telling everyone. I am the Senate. And then obviously, it wouldn't be the Senate without unlimited power. You can use Force Lightning with this character, and his Force Lightning is very, very powerful. You can do it in a chain combo attack, which makes it even more better, and it does have a splash radius. And another thing is, I absolutely adore his idle animation when you just stand still with him. It's really cool. And then if you want the true experience, head over to Coruscant and enter the Senate's office, and there you go. Now, if he would have had his spin attack, he would have been even higher up on the list. But all around the ball, this character is super fun to use, and he's a very fast-paced character, and you can deal some damage with this guy. Now, for number five, I have to play Jewel of the Fates, because it's Darth Maul. And oh my, this character is so fun to use when he uses his double blade of lightsaber and he kicks the enemies and he just he's just so fast-paced and an absolute blast to be. And what tops it even more for me is the voice actor for Darth Maul in this game is so solid. To say he doesn't actually have any lines when you play through the Phantom Menace, when you're in the open world as him, he actually does speak, which I did not expect because in the story mode he did not speak at all, which he barely does in the film anyway. And I do love both appearances for Darth Maul, where you have Darth Maul in his hooded attire and unhooded attire, and I really wish we got a variation where he was split into two, like C-3PO. Imagine if we got that. And I mean, every time you're walking around with him, you're just picturing Jewel of the Fates, dun 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 oh, he's mini, and especially when you're in a cramped corridor, he can absolutely shred through with his double-bladed lightsaber. And talking about his double-bladed lightsaber, when you do throw your lightsaber as Darth Maul, oh my, you do some damage, because obviously it's a double-bladed lightsaber, it does even more damage, especially with the radius, because it's bigger. And hey, 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 you know what they say, the bigger the better, and Darth Maul's special attacks, they're nowhere near as strong as other Dark Side characters' special attacks, but they do have some really cool animations, there's one where he like throws a plunger at you, it's just really cool to watch. And if you're a massive fan of Darth Maul, there's no reason at all why Darth Maul can't be at the top for your ranking because he is absolutely fantastic. From his lightsaber throwing to how strong he is in the air combos alongside when he's just attacking regularly, his special attacks may could have been a little bit better, but Darth Maul all around the ball is solid. So coming in at number 4 is another double-bladed lightsaber, and this character just tops it over Darth Maul for me, and that is Dark Side Ray, or Empress. Now, Dark Side Ray and Darth Maul are very, very, very similar in this game, but I just have to put Dark Side Ray on top, and let me explain why. Now, obviously, I prefer Darth Maul a million times more to Dark Side Ray, but Dark Side Ray has some wicked animations in this game, such as when she pulls out her lightsaber. It's an entirely new built animation just for Dark Side Ray, because her lightsaber is very, very unique. It's not just a double bladed lightsaber, and the way she pulls it out is a wicked animation. 
Now, not like Ray is powerful enough, but Darkseid Ray in this game, hands down, is the most powerful character. I'm not even joking you, seriously, I demolish with this character. Oh, and an added bonus, they've done some unique voice lines for Darkseid Ray. It's the Ray voice actress, but she does some extra lines for Darkseid Ray, and they're really nice to listen to. They're mainly just for comic relief. But yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by this character, and you also get this character for free by doing the Ray vs Kylo level on Kefbeer. Nice. Anyway, moving our way into the top 3 spot is Palpatine at number 3, the big bad of the Skywalker saga. Now what I thought would have happened with Palpatine, I thought they was not going to give Palpatine a lightsaber because he doesn't really use it in the original trilogy. We have the Sheaf Palpatine variation and this Palpatine variation does have a lightsaber. I wish he were just full on using Force Lightning but hey, he's still a solid character. And yes, I am fully aware he does wear his Sith robes whilst fighting Yoda, but it just seems we don't have an original trilogy version of Palpatine. We have the Palpatine clone costume, and then if that one's based upon that, where's the original trilogy one with his full-on lightning hands? And I have to say, it's a little bit shocking. See what I did there? And I am so ecstatic that they gave him his walking stick. I absolutely love that. Just walking around the Death Star 2, just checking if everything's going smooth. And yeah, I just have to say, he's probably got the best animation for pulling out a lightsaber. He just puts his walking stick away and then pulls out his lightsaber up there with Master Yoda. Right, well, I, I did not expect this to happen one bit whilst I was making this list, but beating Palpatine is his own clone. Snoke. So yeah, coming in at number two is Snoke, and he just beats it over Palpatine for me, and Snoke could have been number one for me, because Snoke has some of the most unique fighting style in this game. He doesn't have a lightsaber, he doesn't have a blaster, but he's still very powerful. Now, I thought Snoke was just going to sit there like he does on his throne and do nothing, but he actually can do something. And no, before you ask the question, can he split himself into two? Unfortunately, he can't, and Kylo can't split him into two neither. And my, I was so surprised with this character because what does Snoke really do? And Snoke's one of my favourites because I love Andy Serkis' performance as his voice actor. He doesn't actually voice him in this game, but there's a really strong voice actor for Snoke and he's super powerful. He can just pick people up with a force and fling them around in the air. He can also slam lightning down. Oh, there is no reason at all for this character to be this good and I really wish Palpatine was done very similar to Snoke with his lightning and yes, Snoke can use lightning whenever he wants to in a Attack combos. But anyway, moving on to number one. I've been looking forward to this. It's Count Dooku. Yes, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Now, I'm sure some of you are sat there scratching your head thinking, why is Count Dooku so good? Isn't Palpatine better? He's just the... Yeah, but, but no, no, no. It's Count Dooku now. Let, let's just give him a bit of appreciation. Now, I have to start off with Count Dooku's voice actor. He is one of the best voice actors in this game. And Count Dooku, when you're playing as him, you can hear that amazing voice actor coming to play. Now, I did not expect the developers to give Count Dooku such a unique fighting style. It's very accurate to how he fights. He's got that duelist approach to all his attacks and I love it how he puts one hand behind his back and his force lightning is the best in the game because it's completely different to every other character's force lightning it's just the most powerful and I don't know why <laughs> why has he got more powerful force lightning than Palpatine I mean hey I guess you weren't lying you did become more powerful than any Jedi even your master until obviously you lost your head but we, we won't talk about that today and that is pretty much all of the Sith characters in Lego Stars of Skywalker Saga ranks you just gotta remember this is my opinion but I've tried to make make it the most even I can do, but please let me know your favourite Sith character in the comments below, and if you are new around here, please feel free to subscribe and go to drop a like, check out any of my other Skywalker Saga videos here, hope you all have a good week and I'll see you in a bit, adios.